Hello lovely parents and teachers. I'm going to show a quick tutorial on how do you start using Scratch Junior whereby the students age 5 to 7 years could use the Scratch Junior program to learn basics of programming as well as a small introduction to animation. Now, don't worry, even if you've never done coding in your life, Scratch Junior is so easy to use that within minutes you could have it up and running. So, go on the i you know Apple i Store or the Google Play Store, search for Scratch Junior and download the app. Once you download, click on the home button now when you click on the home button these are all the activities which I have currently worked on but what I want to do is quickly explain you the different parts of the screen like what each part does so the best way to do that would be if I open up the the interface guide for you to understand now in scratch junior everything is at one screen and you could actually if you see the interface here on the left hand side here where you've got cat barn and chicken written these are where you introduce or insert certain objects now each object on this particular page is a separate character so you've got a different uh, icon for cat different for barn different for chicken and when you click on the and if you see if I click on this two button here it shows a stage now the stage is where you actually perform the entire programming operation or you could say animation for children to understand for now they may not even relate with the word programming uh, at this age uh, so what we would do is we would call it as a a very simple animation now three is the presentation mode so when I click on three it actually gives me the full screen of the game or of the app number four is grid we'll come back to it what is grid I'll explain to you It'll be more easier to understand that once we actually show it a, a full-on scratch program working on it now on number five you've got background now background is where you see this barn uh, you know like a like a farm image behind the background I mean apart from the cat the hen the chicken and the the barn there is a background picture which is the scenery behind at your screen so that uh, scratch unit gives you loads of these characters and the backgrounds there for you to choose from six is to add text so if you have animations or if you have different sceneries coming in and you want to add any text or titles to your you know stage areas so again coming back to explain you what is a stage area stage area is the center is is, is, is the middle part where you are actually doing all the operations number seven we'll again come back to it it's resetting characters now suppose you perform any animation and you want to restart them from where they were before that's where the starting positions you could you know just click on that button and they come back to the position number eight is to run the program it's a green flag make sure all your students uh, your children relate with it because that's one of the most important things to use uh, number nine is your pages now scratch also allows you to create different pages it allows you to create stories so you could have one scenery on one page, second scenery on another page, different characters on different pages. Number 10 is for you to save your file. Your project information is a small icon right side, top right side, sometimes hidden. You may not be able to see it, you know, at, at, at the first uh, sight, but just click on that yellow area there and that allows you to save the uh, you know the project so that you know you could relate with uh, the you know what the project does does for you Now coming back to 11 the point is undo and redo again. It's very Important to explain to your child. What does undo do and what does redo do? 
so undo actually uh, reverses back your last operation redo redoes the last operation it it uh, redoes it, it helps you to redo the last operation so if by any chance they make a mistake and they want to undo it just click it once it un it goes one one step back if they click it twice it goes two steps back similarly for redo it goes ahead uh now number 12 number 13 and number 14 is your entire programming and palettes area again when we start doing coding you will understand that what exactly the, these portions do for you now when you go on 15 and 16 again 16 is where i had already explained these are your characters you can keep adding the characters by clicking on plus sign there but when you go on 15 now 15 is where they have six kind of block categories now each category does something special now when you look at yellow again i am explaining this to you i mean a, a child may not immediately understand at first uh, you know go that what is a triggering block what is a motion block and nor do i expect you as a as a parent who's got no introduction to programming to understand this but right now for your ease we will take them as colors so you got yellow color wherein which is used for you know starting your program uh, you know there are different things which can happen in yellow which related to starting or triggering some uh, you know block the blue one is motion so as when i say motion is moving straight up down left right turn you know so those are all motions looks is you know grow the character make the character small show the character hide the character sounds again in an animation in a game sound is very important concept so if you want to add like a, a sound recorded by the child itself or some ready made sounds are available you could do that controls is again we'll come back to it when you look at it it's like how the program loops around how whether you want the program to you know start when you click on on the object or you just want program to start when you so we will come back to that it's more concerning with looping it's more concerning with uh, different concepts of programming there and end blocks as the name suggest is the is to end the program or this section lets you go on the next screen so basically suppose you've got three uh, when we went on number 9 it shows you pages so when you want to move from one page to the another page and you know kind of talk about the story that's how you could do so what we'll do is we will write a very small program now to understand little bit basics so i will click on the home button i will click on this plus sign which shows my projects and what it does is default it opens up a white background with the cat object there the cat character so let's learn how how do you add the the background to it now if you see on the top most corner the background which is right next to abc if i click on it it gives me option of selecting the background so if i click on the second one the park background i click on the tick mark here so if you see the background changes now i can define the start position of the cat i take the cat right at the corner here Now what I want to do is I want to make the cat move this way probably mm. this way turn back and come back at this direction so very simple I'll just define the starting position I will click on this yellow block as I mentioned I will drag and drop the flag so that's the area where you can see the cat character and this is where you are actually defining all the kind of uh, controls and the programs for the character cat now next thing i want to do is give it some kind of a motion so i click on the blue icon i select this right arrow and and if you see this number 1 down at the bottom of this arrow i would just click on it 
and just for now give 10 now 10 actually doesn't mean 10 seconds it's actually 10 spaces you could say for 10 scratch spaces you know 10 scratch blocks you know that direction so this is right direction so and when you take your uh, cause your hand on top of when you click on each of them it actually gives you the name of each of the the motion so you've got right left up down turn right turn left hop that's jump and go home at you know the position back so what we'll do is right now we will just enter 10 here right direction and now what I'll do is I'll click on the green flag right next to the cat here so you could see the cat moves 10 steps ahead now that's fine now what I want to do is next is take the cat and move it upwards so I'll take this up arrow and now I'll just assume it to be 5 steps I play again to see so this time what I'll do is I will click on this reset now this reset is right next to the green flag on the top so I'll click on the reset I'll click on play the green flag again so this time the cat moves front and then goes up so this is actually a classic example of sequencing so you're basically going to explain to a child okay if I want to move a cat straight to I mean to the cat to the bench and then get back these are the sequence of steps you have to follow so sequencing is the most one of the most basic operations of programming all throughout their lives when they start to learn to coding they will learn that okay the the program is actually executed step by step so it's like in the morning when they need to do a you know brush so first thing what they would do is first step would be do is pick up the brush open up the toothpaste put the paste and then start brushing right so those are the sequence of steps the same procedure you follow here so again what I want to do is make the arrow go on the right side I select five steps again I again click on play to see how it works so that works perfectly fine now I want it to turn back right turn back so what I'll do is I want it to turn left right so again if you see the first three steps I will reverse them now so I will change this to 5 then I will take <coughs> I use down uh, I'll use down now so by mistake if you insert any uh, wrong control just take it out and drag it out here it gets deleted so I'll take down so I'll use down 5 again because up was 5 so the down also is 5 and then I will use go back 10 steps now I feel this completes my program so I'll take the end block I'll go on the red block click on end and this time click on the green uh, reset by top on the top uh, if you see there's a reset arrow or arrow with a cross uh, you know like a turn arrow with a cross right next to the flag green flag and now when I play you see the the cat moves and goes back to its original position hey congratulations you've done your first scratch program isn't that fun isn't that easy for a five or six seven year old child to understand this and if you see the program these are all the sequence of steps the choose the student learns so the first program controls we learned was motion where you learn left right up down and there is the turn left turn I mean you know it's like you've got options of turning left turning right hop we'll come across them as and when we start working on finally if I want to save top right corner yellow icon I would just give a name cat and click on the tick mark on the top right corner so that's it. That was the first class of uh, parents and teachers. I hope you enjoy it. And I can tell you that when the students start seeing this, they would love to use it. They would love to create different kind of animations. Clicking back the home button on the top left would give you a list of all the projects you've worked on.